Welcome back to BSPN, the Bikini Suits and Posing Network. Before we get into our Olympia predictions video, please comment, like, subscribe, turn on those notifications so that you know when these videos go live here on YouTube. The more that you support us, the more content we can bring you, and the better this is going to get. So thank you so much for your support, and let's see where my Olympia predictions land. We have a BSPN night, and it is the big one, you guys. It's our Olympia predictions. Who's gonna be in my top picks? I wanna hear what you guys have to say too. So we're gonna go through uh, three divisions tonight. We're gonna go through figure, wellness, and bikini. Figure first, then wellness, then bikini. So, as, and also if you wanna come work with me, suitsandposing.com is where you have to go. We do hair, makeup, suits, and posing. Actually, one of our ladies just competed in the Amateur Olympia today. She won her class in Masters, and she took third in Open, and that was Simi. So congratulations to her. I posted up that little reel this morning. What's up, Katie? Long time no see. Oh, yeah, the hair, right? I, this is the first time I've done this, done one of these lives with the redder hair, like with the ring light and everything, and I'm like, wow, it actually is really a lot red, like it's red. <laughs> Waiting for this prediction all year, lol, right? <laughs> What's up, Devin? There's one of our uh, Olympian athletes right there, Miss Devin. Welcome, you guys. Wellness is gonna be an interesting one. I have some caveats for wellness. Wait until we get to wellness for my predictions. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get rolling. What's up, Wendy? We're gonna get rolling uh, right away with figure. Um, Yes, there's Simi right there. Look at that. She's on. She's even. She's even on live after competing today. Look at you. How dedicated you are. I love it. <laughs> yes. Good luck to Devin right there. Yes. And I did see Lauren logged on. Yep. She's in my bikini predictions here. So we'll get to that too. So, um, okay. So we're gonna start out with figure. So the tricky part about figure is that we have not seen a lot of these ladies compete like all year. You know, they, some of them competed last fall right after Olympia, got their qualifications, uh, that kind of thing. And we haven't really seen them in almost a year. So it's going to be diff difficult to kind of do our top, you know, five or so for our figure. But um, all the congratulations to see me. Yes, I love it. I love it. Yes. What's up, Lauren? Yes, we will be getting to you. Don't you worry. <laughs> Um, but with figure, I really don't see anybody touching Sydney Gillian. I, I mean, I think that she's one of these people that she's going to win until she retires, basically. Uh, if she wins this year, she will break the record for the all-time uh, winningest figure uh, Olympia athlete. She's got four. She needs a fifth one in order to beat um, Nicole Wilkins. So I believe she's going to win it hands down. I could be wrong, but the only one that I really kind of saw give her any trouble was Latoya Watts, and Latoya is not going to be competing this year. So uh, you got um, uh, Natalia Solitero that won the um, the Arnold last year and came in second at Olympia. So she's definitely a threat. I'm not saying she can't take the title, but I just don't see it happening. Um, I do see her probably in that two or that three spot. Uh, and then you've got Nadia Wyatt, who also be right there, I think, in that, that two, three spot as well. Um, and then outside of that, so that's when we start getting a little bit tricky with the, the rest of the top six. Um, and basically, what that's what I'm going to do with these each one of these divisions. I'm going to kind of give you guys my top six, my first call out, and then go into some top ten people um, and caveats and why this person may place there and things like that. So, once we get outside of that top three, you know, we're looking at Maria Luisa, she's the longest name on here, Maria Luisa Bayeza Be 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 Diaz, that one, the one with four names, sorry. <laughs> um, she won Pittsburgh and New York this year, so she could definitely be a threat for that top five in there. Um, personally, when I saw her win those shows, I didn't think she was a super strong competitor, but however, um, with the fact that you actually win a couple of huge titles in the sport, that always makes you want to look at that person a little bit. So I can see her getting up into that top six, probably, um, at least in that first call out. Um, and then you've got uh, another one that could be up in there is that Rhea Gale. Um, Rhea Gale from the UK. 
she had she was a she top call it last year I believe she was top top call it last year but I can see her moving up two into the top four top five position that kind of area um, and then two that I think are kind of the wild cards in those that top six would be Julia Waring and Boyana Vesulovic. So both of them have been doing very well this season. Uh, they've only done a couple of shows though. So, you know, Julia wins Chicago, which is huge. Uh, that's a huge title to win. So that gives her a lot of good momentum going into the Olympia. And if she improves upon her package that she had in Chicago, I do see her being a threat for the top six, top five. Um, and then Boyana, we haven't seen her in a while, but she's also one of these ones that's been on the cusp for the last few years. Like she'll get up into that second call out, almost get up to that top five and then drop out kind of thing. So um, she did, what was she, second at the Arnold last year. So um, she's definitely a threat. I could see her potentially moving up, but we haven't seen her in a while. So it should be interesting to see what she looks like um, on the figure stage for Olympia this year. But to be honest with you, I just I just feel like figure is one of those categories that until Sydney decides to retire, she's going to take the title each time. So we'll see. But I think that's the way it's going to go. Um, moving on to wellness. Um, wellness is going to be very interesting because we have, in my opinion, I think we have two very distinct looks when it comes to wellness. We have bigger, harder, more muscular girls, and then we have smaller, softer, more... Um, athletic girls, I guess, if that's the word you want to use. I don't know what other adjective I can use in there, but they're two very distinct looks. Uh, and I think that depending on which, which direction that they go with these picks, that's going to determine how the rest of the top people in this category actually fall. And it's also going to determine what the look for wellness is going to be going forward, right? So um, I think that your top two and these two have fought against each other already, are going to be Francielle and Angela. Um, they've both beaten each other. They both lost to each other. Uh, they've gone back and forth for a long time. So I see them battling it out here for first and second. If I had to pick one to put into first place, I would pick Francielle to put in first place. Um, she kind of goes along that line of what I think, I personally think the wellness ideal should look like. Uh, so that's my push. That's my direction for, for uh, the win here, at least. I think they're going to lean towards the softer look. I, you know, I think so too. That's my gut. I think my gut, my gut's going towards, I think they're going to lean towards the softer look. So as I go through the rest of my predictions and my people, I'm going to kind of tell you um, which ones I think could be top call out if that's the direction they go, or which ones are going to be top call out if they go the opposite direction. Um, I, I just think that I personally would like to see them go that direction. I think that that's a better direction for the division as a whole. Um, but that's just my opinion as well. So we're going to really figure that out this year. We're going to find out what they're looking for at this show. That's the thing when it comes to all these um, pro shows this year. Like we really can't make a definitive this is wellness yet because there's been such a variety of looks. Um, to two different sides of the coin, right? Um, they're also different, right? Yes, they are. They are. So this is really going to show us kind of the, the direction to move forward, right? Um, so then once we get outside of those top two, then you have Isabel um, Nunez and Yurishna Alea. So the two of them, again, very different looks, but I think they're going to be battling for third and fourth. And depending on which direction they go, as far as who takes third, who takes fourth, is going to, again, determine how we get into the five, six, that kind of thing as we go down the line, right? Personally, I would like to see Isabel in third. Now, I could even see Isabel going as high as second. I could see I could see Angela dropping down. I could see it being Francielle, Isabel, and um, Angela with uh, Eurisha in that solid fourth place position. I don't think that Eurisha is going to drop any further than fourth, but I, I don't I don't particularly see her in my top three. I think she's going to be fourth. I think she's going to be fourth. Um, so I personally, if I was choosing my top four out of those, I would go Francielle, Isabel, Angela, then Yurishna. That's what I would do. Agreed, Devin. That's, a, that's what I think. That's what I think. If it goes that direction, if that's the way that this goes, then that's going to probably determine how the rest of that top ten play out. Okay, so... I think the real wild card in this whole this whole um, top five, top six area is going to be Barbara um, that won the overall at uh, Universe. Um, she's got that look that when I talk to girls that are starting in wellness now, they want to look like her. 
right? That's the look that they want to look like. So I could see Barbara being up in that five or six, sixth place slot. That is if Francael and Isabel are your top two, or even if, if, even if Isabel is your top three, right? With Angela in the middle there. Um, so I could see it going that direction with Barbara in there. And if that's the case, then I think outside of that, we're going to see like Renee Harshi and Bruno. We're going to see those kinds of looks come into play too, because those are all very similar looks, right? Now, if it goes the opposite direction, let's say that they decide to put, let's say they decide to put Eurishna in first place. It's a very realistic possibility. Let's say she goes into that first place position. Well, then I think that we're going to see the bigger, more harder physiques then start taking over the rest of that top five, top six, top 10 area, right? I think we could see Lorena in there. Um, I think we could see Sunny in there. I think we could see Devin and Casey in there too. So it's going to be a matter of which direction they go. If they go for the, if they go for the bigger, more muscular, more conditioned, or if they go for the softer version, right? Um, what about Renee Jewett? I have to be honest with you with Renee. I mean, I saw her in person at Tampa and I'm not trying to say anything negative about Renee, but I thought, I thought Devin, Devin won the show personally. I think there's a few things that Renee has to do in order to move herself up into the lineup. I don't see her, I don't see her in the top call out, maybe the top 10, maybe. And that's if they go with the more conditioned look, I think. Um, but when she gets up there against girls like Bruna and Renee and things like that, her weaknesses are going to be exposed. Um, specifically in her presentation. Um, and also, also, I felt like she had loose skin on her glutes, um, which the only way to really solve that is to grow more glutes. <laughs> and I don't know how much time she had to grow that much glutes in two months, you know what I mean? So there was just, you know, while I think that, um, while I think that she's actually very, very in the face, very beautiful, she has a very beautiful look, I just don't see her up in that top six-ish area, right? So... You know, I think a lot of this is going to hinge on how that top four plays out. I really do. Um, if I had my way, I would want Fran Sale to take the, take the title. Um, I don't know if that's going to be the case. But, you know, if, if, if I was picking, I would pick her in first place. Um, I, would, I, would, I personally would put Isabel in second. That's what I would do. Um, but I think that Angela may beat her there. She may. Um... And then, like I said, we'll have uh, Angela and Yurishna outside. That's going to be your top four. And then that fifth place is really going to be determined upon how they play that top four out, I think. I think we could see, like I said, we could see anyone. Who's, I, we could see a Barbara in there. We could see Lorraine in there. We could see Sunny in there. Um, we could say we could see Bruna in there or Renee Harshi. Like, any one of them could go in there, depending on how they play that top four out and how everybody compares to each other, All right? Front sale is exactly the look that made me want to move to wellness. I hear that a lot. I hear that a lot. And again, that's why I say the whole Barbara thing too, because she's that look that a lot of the girls that are coming into the sport right now, I've heard it over and over and over again that they want to look like her. So in my mind, when I'm thinking of marketability for this particular division, that's what I think of, right? That's a, that's a look that's going to attract more girls to this particular division. Same thing with Francaille, same thing with Isabel. You know, those are the looks that, that actually attract newer competitors into the division and if you're starting from the top down we got to remember that we got to remember at the top that you you got to have a look that girls coming into the sport want to look like right and i think that they display that look i really do um very feminine but athletic correct yes that's right that's right so you know we'll see we'll see how it plays out we'll see how it plays out um and i agree like Devin was saying earlier um she thinks it's gonna go they're gonna go towards the softer look i i believe they will too um, do you guys know, is Sandy head judge for this particular division? Do you guys know? I don't know who the head judge is for this division. I would assume it's probably Sandy, Sandy and Tyler. Um, well, let me know if you know that. But yeah, it's going to be, it's going, this to me, this is actually going to be one of the most interesting divisions to watch because it's so new and it's really going to set a tone for the rest of the year. Devin, yes. Okay. Yeah. So with Sandy at the helm, I, I have to lean towards the front side. I'll look, I have to, have to look toward, lean towards that look. Yeah. Um, so that's my thought process on that. Your thoughts? Take a, uh, take a sip of water and we'll move on to bikini. Tell me your thoughts on what you think is going to happen for wellness. And Casey, you made it. 
<laughs> you were here for wellness. She was DMing me earlier. Do it first so I don't fall asleep. <laughs> Casey's here. Casey's also competing. Like I mentioned her, she could be in that potential top call out there, somewhere in that top six to top ten. Um, judges have not gone with bigger, more con more conditioned so far. That is actually not true. It depends on the show. It depends on who showed up. If they had done that, we wouldn't have people like Barbara in the show. <laughs> right? <laughs> we wouldn't have them winning shows, right? Side note, your hair looks gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, like I said, this is the first time I've seen it on video with the ring lights and all that. I'm like, oh, I actually kind of like it. I actually kind of like it. Um, yes, Cassandra, but she was also, uh, uh, Steve Weinberger was head judging that show. And I believe that's actually the first time he's head judged wellness. So there's that. Um, I'm not the biggest girl. Nope. Um, but you're, uh, you're also along that line that's more towards the, the Devon line that we were talking about with the conditioning and all of that. Why was Olympia switched to October instead of December? Well, it used to be in, in September. It was switched to December because of COVID. It was never December before. So it was switched to, um, it was switched to October just because we had a shortened year and there was less shows to be able to qualify, to be able to qualify, right? Only the tallest, Casey, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. So let's move on to bikini. Let's move on to bikini. This is going to be a big switch up for bikini too, um, because we have a lot of open vacancies in that top five. Um, I was looking at this list as I'm going down the list. I'm like, oh, she's not in it. She's not in it. She's not in it. She's not in it. You know what I mean? Like, because so many have retired or whatever, you know? So if you guys didn't know, Janet has retired. So the actual title itself is vacant. There will be a new bikini Olympia winner this year. Um, I went to see DeRaja and Aaron get in the top five. Well, we're going to get into that. So um, I do have a pretty solid top five, top six. Uh, it's just a matter of how they actually come in as to how it will play out. And then I have a pretty solid top 10, to be honest with you. A pretty solid top 10 with like a couple of wild cards in there. Um, I really believe... Uh, yes, Day Raja and Aaron. I really believe that bikini is going to be very similar to the Arnold and how it played out with a couple of exceptions. Um, I do have Jennifer Dory as my pick for the win. She's coming off a win at the Arnold. She's coming off being second last year at the Olympia. This is just like, she's got the momentum, right? I do have her as my, my top. I know she's coming in tighter. Uh, for this show, which is what her feedback was from Arnold. I think coming off that momentum of that win is huge for her. Uh, so I do have her in my first place position pretty solidly in my first place position there. Um, right outside of her, I do have uh, I do have Issa. I do have Issa in second. Um, I think Jendi will get it though. Yeah, I do have Issa in second because again, it was just a one point difference between Jennifer and Issa. And you gotta remember that Issa has won this title before. So last year was an anomaly where she just did a whole lot of things through her prep she shouldn't have done and got dropped out of that top five into the sixth place position. Last year was an anomaly. So she came back this year, really wanted to prove, you know, <laughs> that she had that she had something still left you know what i mean so um i do think she's going to end up in that second place position now this is where things can get a little bit tricky um i think that one of the people that, uh, that a lot of people are forgetting about going into this show is maureen blanquisco maureen looks phenomenal and i thought even like, she didn't do the olympia last year but she did the year before and she placed top 10 then and I thought even then she was a dark horse. I see her potentially getting up into this top five. Um, I can see her potentially passing Laura Lee. In Chicago, I personally had Maureen beating Laura Lee. That was my personal look at the actual stage. I thought Maureen was actually better. So I could see her potentially as high as third place here. Now, is she going to hit third place this year? Maybe not. Maybe not, but I think there's potential there for that. I think there's potential there for that. Maureen is stunning and beat Raja at Janet's show. Yep, yep, Maureen, she does look great. Yes, Maureen, absolutely. I think, I think she has a shot. I think she has a shot at getting up into that third place. Um, I think she has a shot of knocking Laura Lee down to fourth. Um, 
that's just my gut reaction. Just, you know, I, I believe that Maureen has gotten placings that she should have actually gotten better. Like she should have gotten better placings. You know what I mean? So I, I, I do see her as a real potential threat for the top three, top five positions. Um, Maureen looks incredible. She sure does. She absolutely does. She's got a great presence, great look, great shape overall. Um, there's really nothing like there's nothing I can look at her and say that there's wrong with her. You know what I mean? I, I see her being being that dark horse getting up into that top five this year, um, especially because she didn't compete in the Olympia last year. So really, it's going to be like a wow, where'd she come from kind of thing. But if she does get up in that top five, you know who predicted it. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> So I could see her up there, like I said, even as high as third. I could see her up there as high as third. Um, with Laura Lee kind of battling there. And the next one kind of, ne actually the, these last three that I'm going to mention for the top six are all kind of battling for those spots. And that is Laura Lee, De Raja, and Jasmine. Um, I think it's going to be a real, real battle for those third through sixth place sp spaces. I really do. And it's just going to be a matter of who shows up looking the best that day. You know, I mean, DeRaja had a fantastic season this year. Um, really put people on notice when she came in second at Tampa. She's got to do a couple things like tighten the waistline a little bit, that kind of thing. But she can do that. Um, I see her potentially shocking some people and getting up towards that first call out. Same thing with Jasmine. Jasmine's coming in way tighter than she was two weeks ago. Um, she's looking really, really good. If you guys are following her, you see it. Uh, she was already top 10 last year. I can see her moving up into this top six. Um, who were you just talking about? Maureen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maureen. Yep. Um, so I really think once we get outside that top two with Jennifer and Issa, it's going to be a, it's going to be a battle for those top six. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm really pushing for Maureen in third. Like in my head, that's where that's where I'm putting her. Um, with Laura Lee in fourth, and then DeRaja and Jasmine kind of battling it out for that fifth and sixth place. That's what I'm seeing. Um, I haven't talked about Ashley yet. <laughs> Heck yes, I'm so excited to see her compared to them. Yeah, yeah. So I think all of those physiques compare very, very well. Very, very well. Um, so what did I miss? Is Edela not competing? Edela is out. She's retired. Um, I haven't gotten to Ashley yet. Everybody's saying Ashley. I haven't gotten to her yet. I'm in the top six. She's not in my top six. <laughs> um, I didn't have, you know, going into the, into the Arnold, I didn't have Ashley in my top there. And personally, after seeing her at the Arnold, I think she's going to drop a couple spots here at the Olympia. Um, she got, in my opinion, she got lucky at the Arnold. Uh, she needs to do a big turnaround in her physique in order to get be able to compare to these girls. Um, she looked tired. She looked really tired. Uh, and I know that she came out and said something about having a really rough week or something like that. So, I, I mean, who knows? Anything is possible, but she looked tired. Um, wait, who's top six? Just join. Just, we'll get back. I'll, I'll review everything. Don't worry. Everybody's like, wait, wait, who's top six? Don't worry. I'll go back and I'll go back and talk about it again. <laughs> Um, so here's where I think it gets a little bit interesting is from, you know, from seventh down to 10th. Uh, I actually have Lauren Dannon Miller in my sixth place position. That's where I have Lauren. Lauren hasn't been on stage for a while. It's been since Pittsburgh. Um, but she did at border clash beat Ashley. Okay. She beat Ashley. She also beat Ashlyn who I have in my seventh place spot. So I have Lauren in sixth and Ashlyn in seventh. Those are my six and seven right there. Oh, I'm sorry, no, I take that back. Hold on, so that'd be seven and eight. Yeah, I take that back, so I have six for my top six already. So I've got Lauren in seventh and Ashlyn in eighth. So let me readjust that so I don't screw that up again. So that's seventh and eighth. There we go, yeah. And then, let me just fix that because I wrote the wrong numbers down. Okay, so um, I just, yeah, I just answered. <laughs> yeah. I, hold on, you guys. There's a lot of names. I'll get there. <laughs> You're funny. Um, so yeah, so I have Lauren in my seventh place position and Ashlyn in my eighth. Um, I think that's kind of how they're, how they're going to fall uh, based on physiques. And again, going back to who compares well to each other, that kind of thing. 
You guys ready? <laughs> I have in my ninth place position, I have Aaron Stern. I think Aaron is going to end up in the top 10. Um, she did beat Ashley Kotwasser already. And I just see her, I just see her coming out in that top 10 this year. I just see it. I just see it. I see it happening. So I have Ashley in 10th. That's my top 10. Um, again, if Ashley had come out at the, at the Arnold and, and wowed everyone at the Arnold, then maybe I'd have her a little bit higher here in my predictions, but I just wasn't, I just wasn't, I think she's, I think she just personally, I think she competed too much. I think her body's tired, right? So I, unless she can do a big turnaround these last two weeks since the Arnold, I see Aaron beating her again. Just being real. Right? I love Aaron's look. Yes, Aaron's my favorite IFBB athlete and gives me hope as a nearly 40-year-old woman. Yeah, and and uh, Aaron is 41. Aaron is 41. So, um, and Aaron's played this year really smart. She's taken months off in between her shows. She's kept herself really healthy. Um, made herself look better every time she got on stage. I think she's gonna. I think she's gonna make it up in that top 10. I do. Um, Run your top 10 again, please. I will. I will. Yes. I see Ariel Barley in the top 10 as well. I don't see Ariel in the top 10. I, I can see her placing, but I don't see her in the top 10. And the reason why, I think she's got a great physique. I think she look, looks beautiful. I think she's got a fantastic physique, but she's only competed a couple of times as a pro. She's got to kind of work her way up, right? So I could see her being in the top 15. I could see her being in the top 15, but not top 10. Not top 10 for her this year. Next year. Next year, but not this year. Um, Aaron, yes, I agree. Ashley looks tired and grainy. Yep, I agree. Yep, I agree. She just looks tired. She just competed a lot this year. And that's what happens when you compete a lot. Your your body gets tired, right? So again, since you <laughs> this asked like 15 times now already, I'll go through my whole my whole list again. I think the top two, it's gonna come down to just like it did at the Arnold. I think it's gonna come down to Jennifer and and Issa, and I think that Jennifer's gonna pull it out. She's got great momentum going into the show. I think she's going to pull it out. Um, okay, understandable. Yes. Um, Ashley needs to change coaches. I don't think she needs to change coaches. I just think she needs to compete less. But that's, I mean, I've, I've held that stance for every single athlete, not just Ashley. I've held that stance for everyone. You don't need to compete that much. You need to compete, I'll, you know, this is a good example. We were just talking about, about Ariel here. So you need to compete a little bit more than what Ariel did, you know, like, four shows ish so that you can get in front of different judging panels and things like that but you don't need to compete a lot right there's a there's a balance there's a balance there right um if i was ariel next year i would make sure i get in front of other judging panels as well so she gets she gets to be known and her physique is put up against other physiques more often right um I feel attacked. Well, Devin, you did it for a reason. So you, here's here's the other thing. Like you weren't qualified, so you had to. You know, same thing as Jasmine last year. Last year, Jasmine had to qu keep competing because she needed points in order to qualify. So there's a difference. There's always there's always caveats to every rule, right? There's always caveats to every rule, right? Jen looks unreal. Her proportions are so good. They are. Jen is a great example of somebody that competed just enough this year. She's she's competed just enough. Like she picked a really good show to open it up with Tampa. Wasn't her best, but still, she still placed top in the top three, um, even at her at her not her best. You know what I mean? And then she came in and she won a show a couple weeks later. Great. Then she did the Arnold, won that show. Great. That's fantastic momentum. That's her three shows on an Olympia is, is is her fourth. Boom. Done. That's a great season right there. Right. That's perfect. That sets you up. Wonderful. Right. Um. Jen and Issa just have the freak factor, stunning and built like superheroes. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes you can't uh, can't do anything about having fantastic genetics, right? <laughs> and yeah, and I don't think that that Issa is off. Um, I just think that proportion wise, I think that Jennifer is better balanced from top to bottom than Issa is. So that's where I think Jennifer wins in this scenario. I think they both look great, but I think that Jennifer is better balanced from top to bottom, specifically since they changed their poses. That really made a huge difference. In my eyes, that made a huge, huge difference since they changed their poses at Arnold. That's what, what made Jennifer stand out. Um, so I do think it's going to be between the two of them. Um, and then the, the four through six places are really up for grabs. Um, 
I could see, again, Maureen going as high as third. I could see Dayraja getting up in that fourth place, potentially. Jasmine could potentially be up in that fifth, fifth, fourth place area. And Laura Lee somewhere in there, too. I have Laura Lee probably in, like, fourth or fifth-ish. Like, those, those four girls in that five to six range there are really, like, it's just going to be a matter of who shows up looking the best that day. That's, that's what I think. Um, did you touch on Rihanna and Vanya? Nope, I did not, because they're not my top ten. Um, Jennifer also has a slight, has a slight more feminine shape in my untrained eyes. Um, I don't know if I would say feminine. She's just, again, she's just a better balance. She's got a better S, S curve to me. She's got, uh, bigger up to the top, uh, than Issa does, which creates that S. Um, I agree. Jen looks so feminine and beautiful. Yeah. I mean, you know, and I think one of the things that's a plus and a minus for Issa is her waistline. Um, her waistline is like, alien small right but sometimes she can be so small that it looks a little bit grainy um her ribs stick out a little bit that kind of thing and it's almost too much right so it's a plus and a minus it's a very fine line for her um jennifer doesn't have that problem as long as her waistline's tight she's good right um what about jimmy y'all are asking about every single competitor if i didn't mention them they're not in my top 10 <laughs> seen all these things what about this girl what? if they're not in my top 10 they're not in my top 10 these are the top 10 girls that will go to finals if you're outside the top 10 you don't go to finals that's why we we focus on that that's why i focus on those 10 those top 10 jen ronzi was out of the top 10 last year so i don't see her in the top 10 this year either <laughs> like there is 40 girls on this list you guys <laughs> so so like I said, Jennifer Dory, Issa Pacini, top two, Jennifer winning. Um, three through six is open. I think it's going to be probably Maureen, Laura Lee, and I'm really having a hard time picking between Deiraja De and Jasmine for that last spot, that last that five and six. I just think it's going to be whoever shows up looking best that day is going to get the five, six spot. So since I work with Jasmine, I'm putting her in the fifth place spot right now. <laughs> I'm putting Deiraja in sixth. <laughs> Sorry, can you go through the top 40, right? I know. <laughs> um, and then, like I said, going into the, the rest of the top 10, um, right outside of that top six, I have Lauren Dannon Miller, then Ashlyn, Ashlyn Little, then I have Aaron Stern, then I have Ashley Kaltwasser. That's your top 10 right there, okay? You need to repeat, repeat it one more time because I'm not going to go through all the rest of the girls. <laughs> so... <laughs> um, uh, and again, I think some of these girls played their seasons very, very well, had a great strategy going into the show. They're coming into their, their peaks when they're coming into the Olympia right now, and they played this really well. I think Jennifer played the season very, very well, strategic-wise. Um, and all that stuff will definitely work in their favor. And then there's some girls that just did not play the strategy all that well going into this show, right? Um, yeah, it's so tough. It really is. It really is. They were actually got 14th last year, so 6th will be great. Yeah. No, and, and again, I... I'm pulling her up based on her performance from this year, right? If she had, let's say, for example, that she had um, played 16th last year like she did or whatever it was, 14th, 14th, and then she came in and won one pro show and then was done, then I wouldn't be putting her up in this top. The reason why I'm putting her up towards the top is because she, she performed when she was under pressure at Tampa. That's when she performed. So that, to me, deserves a bump up into this top call out. And you got to remember, there's three spots in that top five that are gone this year that are vacated. So there's open space to be filled, right? Um, let's see. All 40, how huh? we need a part two. Every athlete should be proud as an Olympian. I hope you're right because I love this prediction. Thanks for all your insights. You're welcome. You're welcome. Can't wait to watch. Yeah. So, and, and again, it will literally come down to who looks best that day because my predictions for the Arnold were pretty close they were pretty close um a little bit off because when the girls came in to the show their physiques were a little off you know if they if the girls all come in looking how they at best at what they can look look like this is how this will play out if somebody's a little off they won't be up in here they won't be up in here right so it's all a matter of who who shows up best that day bottom line Bottom line. And not only who shows up best that day, but who can hold it from prejudging to finals too. Because they do rejudge at finals. So it's not over till it's over, right? So we'll see. 
Regardless, it's going to be a very fun Olympia to watch because of wellness and bikini. We're going to see a new bikini crown, a bikini Olympia winner crown, a new first wellness bikini Olympian crown. Uh, that's a big deal. And that's really going to set us up for the rest of the year. Right? Um, I just know that I would hate to be the judges for this one. <laughs> yeah, they've got some tough decisions to make for sure. They sure do. Yes, I will be at the Olympia. I go to the Olympia every year. I'll be there. Yep. Off topic, but your hair looks beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, yes, I'm excited too. So I'll be there. I get in uh, Thursday afternoon. Thursday afternoon. So there from Thursday to Sunday. We have a, a huge group of cuties all going. Um, we do our Pro Performer Promise uh, giveaway. And what that includes is if you win your pro card while wearing one of our suits, you get a trip to Olympia. So we have several girls that are going uh, this year for that. So we'll have some big group pictures and all that kind of stuff too. So it'll be fun. Um, it's gonna be a fun time. It always is. Plus it's Florida. So it should, hopefully it'll be warm. Last year was a little chilly. Hopefully it'll be warm this year. Yes. I'll see you Thursday. Absolutely. So it's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I'm so excited to be there. Thanks to Sean. Yes. You're going as one of our pro performer promise winners right there. Yayoi. You are. So yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> no, Arnold has not called me yet. <laughs> I'm still small peanuts. You guys, I'm still small peanuts, but Thanks to you guys, I'm getting a little bit more traction, so that's good. Um, if you haven't done so already, we do have our videos going up on YouTube and stuff too, so I am editing those. I'll edit this, I'll put together pictures and things like that and edit this and put it up on YouTube too so you can watch it. Um, and I'll do the same thing once we wrap it all up when we come back from Orlando uh, next week, right? So, but no, I have not gotten a phone call from, Ar from Arnold yet. Oh well. <laughs> next year next year if you guys make my youtube channel successful who knows maybe i can be up on there at that commentator space next year i'm just saying help me out support me <laughs> he doesn't know he's missing right yes yes exactly so excited for you and all the cuties i keep up with everything mostly through you if i don't get the live stream there you go see you don't even need to get the live stream when you can listen to me <laughs> We need to organize a campaign for you. You do so much justice to the women's sort. Thank you. Thank you. I try. Hey, it's because I, I want it myself. You know what I mean? Respect for all of us, right? It's in March. We need to get started now, right? Yes. Oh, goodness. Who's the commentator? For I don't know. I don't know. I do know they're doing a live stream, but I don't know who the commentators of the live stream are. I don't know. Yes, campaign for Sean. <laughs> Good luck to Jennifer, Dory, Devin, uh, Casey, and any, any other Olympian on VSPN tonight, right? There you go. Lauren, Lauren Dannemiller was on tonight. Um, yeah, definitely. And, they, and I appreciate all of them coming on too, all of you guys, all the Olympians. If you notice, if you join us here on live, a lot of these girls do come on and they take, say there are two cents and things like that. And they talk about what's going on with them. And when I'm starting to make assumptions, they clarify things for me, <laughs> which is great. <laughs> because I don't know everything. I assume a lot of things. I make I make assumptions on a lot of things. And I tell you guys that too. I don't know all of it, uh, but I do my best to guess, <laughs> educated guess. <laughs> uh, I'm excited. It's almost anyone's game at this point. It really is. It really is. It's, it's an open window, which you don't see this happen like ever, you know? And what, and what Olympia have you ever seen three spots out of the top five gone. Right? Because Janet's gone, Edel is gone, and uh, Angelica. Angelica's gone. I'd love to see Angelica get on stage pregnant. Wouldn't that be awesome? That'd be freaking awesome. I would love that. <laughs> I miss Lauren. Good luck. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I love your openness. Thank you. I do my best. I do my best. Can you just copy the stage tickets? We have three left. So grab one of those. Um, finals are the same, Hunter or Nick. Um, I don't think Nick's gonna win anything, but I think he'll be top five. And I think Hunter might work his way up into top five too. Yep. Um, finals are the same night, correct? Finals for bikini? Finals for bikini are Saturday. Um, I will see you Thursday, yes, then watch on YouTube. Yes, there you go, there you go. Love it, love it. Um, and that's it. That's it. That's what we got tonight. This is going to be a big show. I'm excited. I'll get lots of footage and all that stuff so that when we come back, we can do a full recap when we come back probably Monday, maybe, maybe Tuesday. 
um, yeah, so see you this weekend. Awesome. All the girls on here, the, say hi to me too. Like if you come on my lives and stuff, come say hi to me in person. I know I've got different colored hair now, but you still can't miss me. <laughs> you still can't miss me. <laughs> I'm pretty bold right here. So, um, all right. Hope you guys have a great evening. Suitsimposing.com if you want to work with me. That's it. Let's do this thing. This is the biggest show of the year. Let's have some fun, right? Good night, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and please support our channel. Subscribe, like, comment, turn on notifications. The more that you support us, the more content we can bring you and the more attention the females in our sport will receive. So thank you guys again so, so much for your support and I'll see you next time. Thank you.